Jennifer Vickery. We're coming to you from the Loveless Cafe along Highway 100. The Loveless is a favorite place to eat among Nashville's best loved names in country music. I'm Jennifer Vickery. The Sound Kitchen is the largest and most prestigious recording facility in the Southeast. And of course, what's really neat about the CMT Awards is that this is the only <laughs> awards show where the fans actually determine who wins these awards that will be happening tonight. You know, summertime is a super busy time of year, so all the GAC hosts are out and about, and I get to be here at this very fun event. We're at the Lone Star Strikeout for Kids Bowling Bash. How are you guys? You let your competitors know tonight of your bowling experience. I mean, not, not just everybody grew up in a bowling alley. See, that's the secret to success. Oh. Never let anybody know what weapons you're carrying. <laughs> Just bring them out when you need it to and, and, and go with it. It is Trace Atkins, the busiest man, I think, in country music. Have you been had any time to take a break? Very little. No, <laughs> maybe the last few days, I've had about four days where, uh, where I haven't had to do anything. You know what I remember from last year? What's that? I think you smoked everybody on the bowling lane. You know what I did? I did pretty good last year. All right, we are going to take a break right now. Let Dean brag a little bit more about this 183. And we'll come back right after the break. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Vickery in Franklin, Tennessee, where Christian artists and their families have come out for the world premiere of the new Veggie Tales movie. It's a good song, don't you like it? If you're looking to do something with the kids, look for the pirates who don't do anything in theaters nationwide. And of course, all the Veggie Tales songs are on the soundtrack in stores now. For Gospel Music Channel, I'm Jennifer Vickery. Let me show you who I have with me tonight. I have Randy Travis. I'm so excited to talk to you. There's a lot of buzz about you being on the red carpet tonight. Well, thank you. I, I'm, I'm honored. Thank you for having me. Is that Kelly with you there? It is Kelly Pickler. <laughs> I'm so excited that she's with us. You were talking about those glittering things on the red carpet, and Kelly Pickler is one of them. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to Better Nashville. I'm Jennifer Vickery. Thanks so much for joining us. Our first guests today are a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, and a whole lot of saucy. They are the Saucy <laughs> Sisters, and they are not only sisters, they are also partners in crime in the kitchen, I understand. <laughs> so good to see you, ladies. Well, this building housed a country music theater in the late 70s. Singers would perform chart-topping songs for audiences here. Well, there's nothing fake about Joe Nichols. In fact, his newest project is called Real Things. He sat down with us recently to talk about it. Well, this is the lobby for ASCAP. All may be relatively quiet now, but the scene changes when an ASCAP writer's song goes to number one on the charts. This is where those number one parties you hear about are held. Hey, earlier this summer, our Great American Bus Tour made a pit stop up in the Motor City for a first-hand look at the Detroit hoedown. Our roving reporter Jennifer Vickery was on hand to give a little FaceTime with some old country Take friends. We are kicking off GAC Superstar Summer Tour. I'm Jennifer Vickery here with Jason Michael Carroll. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Can you believe that the WCYD Detroit hoedown is the world's largest free country music festival? And this is amazing. Our second year back, I mean, we've had a great time. We are on the Nashville Star stage, and we are with Cafe tonight. And while he may not be the Nashville star winner. Let me tell you something. He is one of the smartest contestants because Cafe figured out very early on that he wanted to avoid me at all <laughs> costs because he figured out that I interview the eliminated contestant every week. She so. is the Nashville star Grim Reaper. If you see her, your behind didn't win, okay? <laughs> hey, Little Big Town, Alan Jackson, Sarah Evans, they're all headed this way down the purple carpet at the CMT Music Video Awards. I'm Jennifer Vickery. I've got a live report for you coming up. As Hello. long as I don't have to put the worm on the hook, I am good to go. <laughs> we hit Music Row's premier boutique, Flavor, to talk music and fashion. I'm really digging the jewel tones that are out right now. Logged a lot of miles, I'm assuming. You know, we, uh, I think we did 117,000 miles on this bus last year. Wow. Luke talked about his recent success in a place he feels quite at home, the back of a pickup truck in the middle of a farm. So I used to have to clock in at the peanut mill and, you know, run around on track just hauling peanut wagons all day. As moguls of morning meetings at the Waffle House, the Warren brothers invited me to join in the fun. Since you play the, the kind of the bad, rowdy neighbor here, are you drawing on any of neighborhood experience from our neighborhood for your role in this? A little bit. You know, when we first moved into the neighborhood, of course, we got a few eyes and everything. Channel 4's Jennifer Vickery is live at the Somme Center with the winners of tonight's CMA Awards. Jennifer. 
Well, Demetria, what would a competition be without an upset? Tonight, after 14 years as duo of the year, Brooks and Dunn was unseated by Sugarland tonight. And the entertainer of the year category is probably no surprise to you. It's Kenny Chesney for the third year in a row. But tonight, it was Hendersonville's own Taylor Swift who was the real charmer. I can't even believe this. And this is definitely the highlight of my senior year. 17-year-old Taylor Swift has stolen the hearts of country music fans everywhere, performing in front of 30 million viewers tonight and winning the Horizon Award. I can't even believe that this is real. And I want to thank God and my family for moving to Nashville so that I could do this. And um, I want to thank Country Radio. I will never forget the chance that you took on me. A big night for some other local high schoolers as Brad Paisley invited the Brentwood High School Marching Band to perform his hit online. That song also won for Music Video of the Year. You don't know how big this is for me. After 10 years with no nominations, Tracy Lawrence took home a trophy for Vocal Event of the Year with Kenny Chesney and no show Tim McGraw. But I'll be left here waiting with my heart on my sleeve. Oh. And the duo honor is in new hands. Jennifer Nettles and Christian Bush of Sugarland are CMA's vocal duo of the year. You hear every year, oh, this could be your year, this is your year, but you never know how these award shows can go and when you pull back the curtain, you know, on the wizard. So it's, it's definitely a pleasant surprise. Well, let's get you updated on the other winners. It was Carrie Underwood as female vocalist, Brad Paisley as male vocalist, and King George is still the king of country. He won album of the year as well as song of the year for Give It Away. Some of the highlights tonight were some of the non-country acts like the Eagles. They performed. The crowd loved that as well as Jamie Foxx getting up on stage a little later in the show to perform with Rascal Flatts. It's been a very exciting tonight on what truly is country's biggest night.